Hi Pisces, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your general reading for the month of August 2022 and onwards. This is going to be for any Pisces looking for any guidance and messages in their daily lives. Remember if uh, this video doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit notifications for any new updates. And guys, it always means a lot to me if you guys leave a comment or subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm for the channel, helps me grow, okay? Alright, so... Let's start off with your reading here. Remember, it's always a chill vibe here, and we don't take ourselves too seriously, okay? But for you, Aquarius, this applies to any sun, moon, or rising. And remember, if I don't get you this time, I'll get you another time, okay? All right, so we're gonna start off with one card from the Monology Oracle deck, then some right away cards and some clarifiers, okay? All right, looks like we have two, so I'll take them both. All right, Pisces. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon, along with a time to give rather than take, new moon in Virgo. Okay, They're both out for you here. So, something to think about here, adjustments to your life are required here. Maybe you're stressing out. Maybe you need to do better at something, or maybe you're working too hard, right? A time to give rather than take. So time to be generous, a time to think about friends and family, a time to think about donating your time and energy to a cause or a situation or even a person. So let's find out what we need to know for you. Pisces, I'm going to shuffle the cards here. We're going to do three main cards from the right away. Let's find out what we need to know for you, Pisces. Universe, let's get a clear message for Pisces. What general messages are coming up for Pisces for the month of August? There we go. So your first card is the star card. Very nice. Really good energy for you for this month. I'm seeing a lot of you will succeed at something or achieve something. Something will happen to you. Some of you are revitalized, re-energized. Maybe you've taken some vacation time. For a lot of you, you may have taken time for yourself to care for yourself, going to the spa, working out, eating healthy, really living your life, spending time with the people that you love here. It's a really good energy. There's also another energy of hopeful for something, wishing for something, something even happening to you that's really amazing right now so take it as you will however this applies for you pisces but something great is coming your way star card could also be represented here by uh, aquarius so you may be dealing with an aquarius individual here we have to keep in mind adjustments are required and time to give rather than take so you may be doing some good things you may be helping people perhaps volunteering doing some charity work, helping out a family member or friend here, okay? But something is really good for you right now. And that's a great energy to have with the star card. So let's find out more. There we are. We have the 10 of pentacles. Now this card, you know, talks about security and finding uh, happiness in our lives here, whether it be a uh, family or at the home or at work here, there's stability here, there is achievement, there is an energy of being very confident. I'm getting for some of you, you may be spending time with family or going to a wedding here. For others, you may be having some sort of big celebration or a reunion here, okay? could be in regards to family or something family related for some of you. There could be uh, children and animals there for some I'm getting here that you're like visiting and going on a family trip for some of you, okay, or something like that. All right, that's too many. What else do we need to know here for Pisces, please? For others, there could be money coming in or some sort of new offer, new project, new financing, new home even, okay? Really something great for you. Okay, 
Your next card is the Justice card in reverse. Now I'm getting here, you may be dealing with something with the law. You may get a ticket here. You may have a court date that you're going here to fight a speeding ticket for some of you. For others, there's like something to do with the police here I'm getting. Something about, sorry, something about them wanting your help at something and you not knowing what to do here I'm getting for some of you. Maybe you're a witness here. For others, there's an injustice that's happening. Something that's not fair in, and not ruled in your favor here. But I feel like it's not going to affect you too much, whatever this is. It's uh, small. So you may have to make an adjustment. The adjustment here for the justice card would mean that you, you are succumbing or paying a fine here. And you're going to be generous. For others, you may be dealing with a Libra individual. And this person may be someone who is um, making you or lose your time. Or like I'm getting even for some of you you're feeling like they're wasting your time okay whoever this may be so again it could be an officer could be someone of the law here wasting your time i'm getting here okay all right let's take a look and get some clarifiers we're going to start with the star card for you first pisces universe let's find out more about the star card tell me more about the star please let's get three cards tell me more about the star Okay, well, we have three, so we'll take them all. And they're the three that we need. So we'll go through them one at a time. We have the world card in reverse. There's unfinished business here in regards to the star card. So what you're really hopeful about, there's something that you're trying to achieve or accomplish here. Something coming around full circle, something finally happening maybe for some of you. You have unfinished business, of course. And this is for your happiness. The next card is the Nine of Cups. This is about you and your happiness and what you want out of life. This is about uh, you achieving something that you're proud of, that you put a lot of effort into, okay? A lot of heart and a lot of soul into this situation. Whether it be a person, could be a family member, or even a project or work, okay you have put a lot of effort into this and you feel like you're owed this cycle to complete you want this to finish and you're hopeful about it and things may be looking great you may be achieving that cycle okay may not be finished just yet and the cycle may include you see this is the adjustments part i'm seeing here so with the fool in reverse here before you continue on your journey there is slight hesitation here from you i'm getting there is a little bit of lack of confidence here i'm getting some of you may be rushing in because you're so excited about this for yourself and so you need to maybe adjust that energy or be a little bit more logical than it is for you to just jump in hurriedly okay hurriedly <laughs> all right um next we have the ten of pentacles so let's find out what else we need to know here. So that fool card really is telling us we need to make sure we watch where we're going here and pay attention and make adjustments where necessary. What's going on with the Ten of Pentacles, please? Okay, we have the first card here is the Eight of Cups. So when I talked about this being some sort of security or stability coming into you, okay, it has to do with you walking away from something. Maybe it's a second home that you've gotten rid of for some of you. Maybe you're moving somewhere else, or maybe you're no longer dealing with someone toxic in your life and somehow there's money involved here or there's more stability here involved in this situation. Some of you I'm getting maybe moving home here, okay? and finding yourself away from a partner and moving back with your parents. For others, I'm seeing that it is just you. Your stability keeps you calm and therefore you need the time 
for yourself and your emotions to kind of go through what you need to go through i'm seeing here okay so you may not want to deal with this situation anymore you may want to change that and make those adjustments like i said okay for others your heart's uh just not going to be the prominent factor in what you're dealing with right now and it's going to be more logical i'm guess i'm guessing some of you i feel like you've put your heart into this before and you've been disappointed so you don't want to do this again okay all right the next card is the ace of swords in reverse this card may come up when you are struggling with some misinformation there may be a false start here or there may be some bad news coming in okay so see i see you walking away from something emotionally that you're tied to here with this situation so you may have to give up something i'm getting here and it may be a sacrifice that for some of you have to make here and it's not going to be pretty and you may struggle with it and it may be hard for you to start out so again adjustments you may have to find yourself navigating through this your own way okay yeah next is the ten of swords so there's some trauma involved here in the past here you're definitely healing from this, which is what is motivating you to go through the situation. Your stability is your main focus right now. Getting back to where you used to be and healing from whatever traumas that you need to move away from here. Whatever misinformation or bad news or something that's coming your way that you need to like distract yourself, you're focusing on your home, your stability, your security, and your happiness in the material world even, okay? Let's find out more with the justice card for you here. Universe, let's get some more clarifiers here for the justice card. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about the justice card for Pisces, please. Tell me more about the Pisces, uh, Justice card for Pisces. Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles. You may have to make a decision here. You may be weighing your options, whether or not to proceed with this situation here with either the courts or with an officer or with the law. And if it's not that, some of you are being treated unfairly and you're wondering if you should continue on in certain matters here, okay? Or you're trying to really figure something out. Maybe someone's even betrayed you and you're trying to figure out if this is something that you can still deal with for some of you, okay? That's for some of you. For others, there could be someone in trouble and you may be thinking about helping or getting involved here. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, you're definitely, there's an energy of you going in with something and making a decision and helping out a situation here. And remember, a time to give rather than take. So you may be offering your help, you may be offering information, advice here in a situation to someone who's could be either a situation that you're dealing with or a situation that someone close to you is dealing with, with the court or the law here. For others, you just may be uh, trying to do something better with yourself. Maybe you have been in trouble with the law for some of you and you're trying to give back, okay? Or you feel like there's an injustice in the world and you've decided to not think about all yourself but to give some of it back to other people here. Whatever wealth or achievements you've made or even your time and your energy, okay? So one more card please for Pisces. What else do we need to know here for Pisces, please? What else? What else? I feel like that one. We have the Emperor in reverse. It's because you feel like something is being... Um, 
you don't like losing control over a situation and you've seen other people in, in instances where they've lost control over something, you're trying to save something I'm seeing here. So that's why you're giving your time here. Someone may be in trouble. Someone may need your help is what I'm seeing. And you're deciding on that. That's what I'm getting here. And so it really is um, you coming to help someone, you adjusting for yourself here this month, and also uh, taking a few steps back and making sure you don't go head into certain situations, okay? So definitely a lot going on for you for this month. But Pisces, I really hope you enjoy the reading. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and notifications for any updates. Thanks for watching here tonight with me. Really appreciate it and bye for now.